Hello, this is Father Ken Lau, and uh, welcome. Uh, I'm here to bless uh, the canoe that I bought. Uh, I'm preparing for my trip to Algonquin Park uh, this coming Sunday. And uh, people told me I couldn't bring my kayak and my paddleboard because of, I'm doing portaging there. So they asked, they recommended to uh, rent a canoe. But it's so expensive to rent a canoe, it's like 50 bucks per day. So if I'm going to be there for six days, it's like $300. So I said, I might as well just buy a second hand. Uh, so I went to Kajiji and I saw this beautiful canoe that is on sale, that is so cheap. I went there with John Rogers, uh, who did the driving, and also Peter Morrison, who built his own canoe like this. Uh, so I asked him to check it out. Uh, so we went there yesterday. Uh, we talked to the, uh, we were able to meet with the, the builder of the canoe. His name is Tom Wills. And uh, he's, so, he's an Anglican and uh, he's just so kind. And he gave me a good discount. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the model is a uh, Prospector, uh, so it's very light, uh, it weighs less than 40 pounds. Uh, so it could be for a solo canoeer, but also a provision for a passenger. It was way above my budget, but uh, he gave me a good, good discount and also I have some anonymous donors who helped out also. Uh, so I was able to, 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 to buy it. Uh, so yeah, so we had a celebration after that, we went to this burger's place, we had a burger, uh, onion rings and more than one milkshake each. Okay, I don't, I don't want to tell you how many milkshakes. <laughs> I'm now ready for my trip to Algonquin Park. Don't worry, I'm not going to go by myself. I'm going to be with uh, a person who is very experienced in going to Algonquin Park and also in uh, doing some canoe camping. The Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. So together, we, we, today we gather to bless this canoe uh, and those who will use it for pleasure. The Lord calmed the Sea of Galilee and brought His disciples to safety. We commend those who sail this craft into His care. Okay? So brothers and sisters, uh, listen to the words of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. John? Jesus got into a boat and His disciples followed Him. Suddenly a violent storm came up on the sea so that the boat was being swamped by waves. But Jesus was asleep. The disciples came and woke him, saying, Lord, save us! We are perishing! Jesus said to them, Why are you terrified, O you of little faith? Then he got up, rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was great calm. The men were amazed and said, What sort of man is this? whom even the winds and the sea obey. The word of the Lord. Thanks be. Response. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. O Lord our God, how glorious is your name over all the earth. You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. O Lord our God, how wonderful your name in all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place. O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name in all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? O Lord our God, how wonderful is your name. You have given him rule over, over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field. O Lord, our God, how wonderful is your name. The birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. O Lord, our God, how wonderful is your name. So at the command of the Son of God, the sun, the sea was calm and the nets were filled to overflowing. So let us call upon Christ with faith. Uh, our response will be, guide us safely, Lord. In the face of wind and rain, we pray. In the stillness and calm of the sea, we pray. In our respect for the world's natural resources, we pray. Okay. So, in remembrance of those who labored at sea and have gone to the rest, we pray. So, Christ taught us to call upon the Father, and so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. So God of boundless love, at the beginning of creation, your spirit hovered over the deep. You called forth every creature in the seas teemed with life. To your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us the rich harvest of salvation. Bless this canoe, its equipment, and all who will use it. Protect them from the dangers of wind and rain and all the perils of the deep. May Christ, who calmed the storm and filled the nets of his disciples, bring us all to the harbor of light and peace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. I'm just going to bless this.